Welcome to the Cheetah Nikon System Overview and Training. In this online course, we will review the Cheetah Nikon non-invasive hemodynamic monitoring technology, review the components of the Cheetah Nikon system, and review how to use the monitor, apply the sensors, and perform fluid challenges. This online course has been divided into three lessons. What is Cheetah Nikon? Cheetah Nikon sensor placement, Cheetah Nikon monitor operation, including fluid challenges. Remember that you can leave and resume where you left off at any point. Cheetah Nikon is an FDA-approved, 100% non-invasive hemodynamic monitor utilized to measure stroke volume. It is also used for numerous other advanced hemodynamic parameters, including stroke volume index, cardiac output, cardiac index, and peripheral resistance. Clinicians currently use the Cheetah Nikon for volume management and to ensure fluid optimization in patients with a wide range of disease states. Since the Cheetah Nikon is 100% non-invasive, it is the ideal hemodynamic monitoring solution to be used across the continuum of care. Take a moment to review this chart that details each of the parameters that are shown on the Cheetah Nikon monitor. This chart shows the hemodynamic parameters as well as their equations and accepted normal ranges. Heart rate is updated every 10 seconds, while the other parameters are updated every 30 to 60 seconds. Note that mean arterial pressure, or MAP, has to be entered manually. There are three primary components of the Cheetah Nikon system. The Cheetah Nikon monitor displays the parameters discussed previously and includes a touch screen for easy navigation. Cheetah sensors are 100% non-invasive and are applied to the upper and lower thorax positioned around the heart or boxing the heart. These sensors send the signals captured from the body to the monitor. The patient cable connects the monitor to the sensors. The picture on the left shows the Cheetah Nikon system fully assembled with the patient cable connecting the sensors to the monitor. The picture in the corner shows the placement of the sensors on a patient, which is described further in the lower right box.